This is the example on slide 72 of our chapter 16 PowerPoint. And here we're going to be using the concept of half-life to figure out how much of something remains after a certain number of days, a certain amount of time. So the question reads, phosphorus 32, a radioactive isotope, or a radioisotope, sorry, used in the treatment of leukemia has a half-life of 14.3 days. If a sample contains 8 milligrams of phosphorus 32, how many milligrams of phosphorus 32 remain after 42.9 days? So basically a half-life is um, how long it takes for half of our sample to decay, um, to degrade. So for instance, um, after one half-life, if we started with 8 milligrams, we would have 4. And then after that, you'd have 4, you'd get 2, so on and so forth. So, half-life um, is it takes 14.3 days for half of my phosphorus 32 to decompose. So the first step in figuring out how much of this phosphorus 32 remains after a certain number of time is to figure out how many half-lives are in 42.9 days. That's the amount of time that has passed. So we can say one half-life is equal to 14.3 days. And we can change that into an equivalency, 14.3 days per one half-life or one half-life per 14.3 days. So to figure out how many half-lives are in 42.9 days, we're going to start with 42.9 days. And we're going to divide by the number of days in one half-life. So we're going to use this conversion. So 14.3 days has one half-life. And if I divide, I get that three half-lives are contained in 42.9 days. So after 42.9 days, phosphorus 32 will have undergone three half-lives. So now that we know that, we can simply just begin dividing by two. So after one half-life, Oh, I'm writing half twice. Sorry, let's see. One half life. We go from eight milligrams to four milligrams because we're getting rid of half. So basically, we just divided eight by two. After two half lives. So this is our second half-life. We're going from four, and half of that is two milligrams. And then our third half-life, we're starting now with two milligrams, divide that by two, and we're left with one. So does that make sense? Um, basically you're just dividing whatever you're starting with by two. So in the first half-life, you're starting with the original amount, having it to four. Second half-life, you're starting with four, having it going to two. Third half-life, you're starting with two, having that and going to one. So after 42.9 days, there is only one milligram of phosphorus 32 left. And that's your final answer.